Hi there! You are watching a video of above ground storage tanks in industrial plants. To determine the stability of the tank, in other words, the resistance to the overturning loads due to wind, it is necessary to know the wind speed and the pressure. These parameters are defined in section 5.2.1K of the API 650 code. The wind speed depends on the location of the tank or project. For design purposes, the API 650 code establishes the minimum design speed V at 190 km an hour. For higher speeds, the wind pressure will be modified. Wind pressure design values for each component of the tank, according to the API 650 code and considering the form factor and desired criteria, are shown on the screen. Additionally, the side wind profile needs to be considered. What are storage tanks designed for? Mainly to stock large quantities of fluid at relatively low installation cost. Some of their characteristics are They are a buffer between the different stages of the process. They are easy to build compared to other similar equipment. They operate at atmospheric or near atmospheric conditions. Generally, they are built in situ. To verify the stability of the tank and its resistance to overturning moment due to wind, the provisions of section 5.11 of the code should be applied. The procedure described in that section and reproduced next establishes two different verifications for both anchored and non-anchored tanks. For a tank to be designed without anchor bolts, the tank must withstand the uplift produced by the wind actions. To analyze the overturning resistance of a storage tank, the following four loads acting on the tank must be analyzed. The wind uplift load, the internal pressure load, the dead load of the tank, and the liquid hold down load. Once these four loads have been defined, the tank must satisfy three conditions according to the code. First, the overturning moment due to wind plus internal pressure is compared against the tank weight. Second, the same comparison but now considering the tank weight plus the liquid hold down load. And third, the horizontal component of the wind plus internal pressure is compared with the tank weight. If any of these three conditions is not met, the tank must be mechanically supported, in other words, requires anchor bolts. The terms of these three conditions mentioned earlier are the following. MW is the overturning moment due to wind. MPI is the overturning moment due to internal pressure. FP is the operating design pressure ratio, has to be less than 0.4. MDL is the resistant moment due to shell weight. MF is the resistant moment due to liquid weight. MDLR is the resistant moment due to the roof weight. And MWS is the overturning moment due to horizontal wind. In other words, 
it is necessary to analyze the sum of moments in the base of the tank and to guarantee that the tank uplift does not occur. This means that we have to evaluate the loads that tend to uplift the tank and these are wind and internal pressure. And the loads that resist this uplift are the self-weight of the tank and the weight of the fluid. In addition to complying with the three conditions mentioned previously, the tank should not suffer horizontal sliding when empty. It must be verified that the resistant force is greater than the horizontal induced force due to wind. This way, the condition to be verified is the following. FW needs to be greater than FS, where FW is the resistant load and FS is the load on the shell due to wind. In turn, FW is TW, that is the sum of weight, shelf, roof and bottom, and FF is the ground bottom friction factor. It can be found on section 5.11.4 of the code as a maximum 0.4.